Hello guys, in this video here we will be taking a look at this Lesign rear bike light. I'm getting more into biking again, it's just fun and a good way of training uh, and commuting also, maybe change some of my driving with bicycling. But from driving a lot on dark roads, I see a lot of bicyclists uh, I think they just want to save some few grams and they get some really crappy lights. So I wanted to see what you had on the market uh, and why people choose those lights that basically gives no safety at all. So this light from Lesign here is actually very inexpensive. Uh, I bought it locally for under $20, maybe $15. And you can get this at eBay, Amazon, and probably at your local bike shop as well. Um, and this is a very basic model, but in my opinion, it got all of the features that you need. It got the performance, and um, it's also rechargeable, which is perfect. You don't have to think about batteries anymore, and it's very small. And of course, you won't notice a light like this on your bike. This here is perfect for commuting and also longer trips on your bike. 5 lumens max. Um, 5 lumens isn't a lot, but keep in mind this is a real light. So in the dark, 5 lumens is plenty. Lesign, they get a lot of different lights with different brightnesses. And there's a lot of uh, lights on the market that even are much brighter, but then they are much more expensive as well But then they work better at daytime, but for night this is just perfect uh, So it's a very simple design. It's very lightweight it, You have this rubber band and you see you just put it around your seat pole So here we have my bike we see that it's a little bit angled so on the seat poles it gets in the right angle then you just have a rubber band pull it on the back and like that and it's very secure securely mounted you can turn it on so installation takes what 20 seconds and as long as this rubber band here is out of good quality, it should last a very long time as well. So you have a LED under this button here. Uh, it will light up with a red light. To me it looks more like orangey when you have 2-10% to battery. And also while you are charging. And when, it, when it's charged, while you're charging it or having it uh, hooked up, the light will uh, turn off and also the light on the top here won't be lighting up as long as the battery is over 10%. So it's a fairly simple battery indicator and you will still have like two and a half hours left of runtime when this little lamp turns on. And you see the runtimes here. Uh, 50 hours in the flashing modes in the 1, 2 and 3 mode, all of those have 15 hours. And the next pulsing here have 9 hours of runtime and solid 4 hours and 30 minutes. So you can take off the cap and here is where you charge it. And the button operation you have on the top here, you just hold it in to turn it off. Hold it in to turn it on and click between the modes. It got a total internal reflector on the backside here, so it gets the light out of the lens or the diode. And then it also got this uh, bending shapes, uh, this curvature here, which will send the light in what they call a 270 degree beam pattern. So we have a surface mounted LED, red, and I would think they use the same logic board for a white front light that just change out this uh, LED board here, solder on, here we have the button, 
these buttons of course work for a long time it's like the ones you have in your phones some foamy bits here so it fits in better lithium ion battery cell here it's actually fairly big then more foam to just have it sit inside of this construction here and we can see the total internal reflector, reflector lens here and then you have the button on top here so if, if it wasn't for the button on top here I think this would be of a higher IP grade because it got the gasket and stuff on the back side here but this can maybe get a little bit more loose and what we will get in so 28 grams is yeah I would say correct so here we can see even if you sit high up you will see it very nice low down perfect straight from the back and at the angle very easy to see because of the good optics and the five lumens when it's dark outside is plenty bright and you don't want something too bright either that can probably also be dangerous for other motorists so.